don't know. Queen's Med. Queen's Medical Centre. Hospital. Just have the fields test. Where they give you a thing to hold. You've got stare to light. And every time you see a light flashing, you've got to keep pressing the button. I've got to come back next week to see the fucking doctor. It'd be nice if they could do it in one day. Because I'm using taxis, I'm waiting for the taxi at the moment. I'm not fucking about on the bus. And of course, it's a huge hospital, teaching hospital. Prince Charles were treated here, you know. When he broke his wrist. Or when he broke something. You know, his polo. So my taxi will be here in a bit. This I've got to look out for the blue Astra. And uh, there's DG. And uh, this eye test is to prevent the onset of glaucoma. No. You want a blue astral? Yeah, because I've been told I've got a trace of it, but you know. Put the monitor in it. Uh, there are a lot of DG taxes, but I'm looking for Gedling cars. The blue astral. And, uh, yes, yeah, routine. I'm sure lots of you have had these tests. Well, the older generation just had a fag, not supposed to. Not sat on there. Oh, there's an old lady sat there. She's 81, she was chuffing away. She had been smoking all my life, and she's now 81. I said, Have you got breathing difficulties? She says, No. So, you know, all this about smoking kills and all that. But if it's that bad for us, why don't they ban it? Well, they won't do that. They lose a hell of a lot of revenue and it will put lots of people out of work. Another DG. Where's me Blue Astor? So, you know, I have said before to people when I drove the trucks in Birmingham, listening to Ed Doolan on Radio WM, the doctor in the studio said it's now a proven fact that pregnant mothers who smoke do harm the unborn child. Well, I couldn't let them get away with that. I phoned the station. They do and said, we've got Arthur, a lorry driver, Aston. What have you got to say, Arthur? <clears throat> I said, my ex-wife has smoked like a chimney all her adult life and she's had four fine, fit, healthy children. It's my opinion the medical profession generalised too much. We are all individuals and different things affect different people in different ways. And I stick by that. Generalisation. We all know people who's never smoked in their life and they get lung cancer. So, you know, I'm nearly 77, so why should I fucking worry at my age? Right, this taxi's not in a bit, I'm going to light another faggot. So that's it from Please Med.